Many people don't like apple cider vinegar, but some swear by it. And a lot of people scroll right past videos like this because they think they already know everything about apple cider vinegar. But here's the truth. Almost nobody understands what apple cider vinegar actually does inside the body. Why it works for some people, why it does absolutely nothing for others, and how using it the wrong way can actually cause problems. So if you've ever heard that apple cider vinegar lowers blood sugar, helps metabolism, or supports weight loss, stay with me because I'm gonna break this down in a way you probably haven't heard before. Apple cider vinegar is not a health drink. It's not a detox, it's not magic. Apple cider vinegar is a metabolic signal. And once you understand that, everything about how and when to use it will totally make sense to you. Let's start with the real issue, high blood sugar. You see, when high blood sugar rises too high, especially after meals, the body has to release insulin to push that sugar into the cells. And over time, repeated spikes in blood sugar and insulin lead to insulin resistance, energy crashes, increased fat storage, metabolic syndrome, fatty liver, and eventually problems with obesity and type 2 diabetes. This is not about calories. This is all about signaling. And here's what most people miss. It's not just how high your blood sugar goes, it's how fast it goes up. And here's where apple cider vinegar comes in. Apple cider vinegar, again, doesn't burn fat. It doesn't melt calories. What it does, it changes how quickly sugar enters into the bloodstream after you eat it. The acetic acid in apple cider vinegar slows gastric emptying. That means food leaves your stomach more slowly. Sugar is absorbed more gradually. Blood sugar rises slower. Insulin doesn't have to spike as high. And when insulin stays lower, the body is less likely to store fat and more likely to maintain that steady energy. And this is why some people feel more stable energy when they use it before meals. And there is a pancreas and liver connection that when blood sugar spikes less, Pancreas doesn't have to work as hard. That matters because over time, reducing that excessive insulin demand can improve insulin sensitivity. And when insulin sensitivity improves, the liver is less likely to convert excess glucose into fat. And that's one of the reasons why apple cider vinegar has been studied in relation to fatty liver and metabolic health. Now let's talk about how people mess this up by drinking apple cider vinegar. Some people will drink it straight. Please don't do that. That's right. This should remind you that you should never ever drink it straight, undiluted. Drinking apple cider vinegar straight can damage your tooth enamel, irritate your throat, aggravate reflux. In some people, more is definitely not better. And how to use apple cider vinegar correctly, very simple, one teaspoon up to one tablespoon to a full glass of water taken shortly before a meal, not all day long, not multiple times back to back. Yes, you can use a straw, you can rinse your mouth afterwards. If you have reflux, ulcers, or dental issues, talk to your healthcare provider first. And let me say this very clearly to you. You do not need apple cider vinegar to be healthy. If you hate the taste, you don't need it. If it bothers your stomach, don't use it. This is not a requirement for health. It's simply one tool that can help some people improve blood sugar control and metabolic signaling when used correctly. And here's the bigger lesson. This is where you shine. The real takeaway here is this. Small metabolic changes done consistently are far more powerful than extreme diets. When you help your body handle sugar better, everything downstream improves. Energy, fat storage, hormones, and most important, long-term health. Your body doesn't need extremes. It needs better signals. That's what apple cider vinegar is all about. And if you've learned something new from this, I ask you to please share it with someone who thinks Apple cider vinegar is either magic or useless. The truth, like always, 
lives in the middle. So remember one thing, the science is there and so is the physiology. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.